Okay, a big part of being a digital artist is being able to be self-critical and to kind of improve your work as you go. So we don't just get swallowed up by the workflow of what we're doing. So I've put together the head. It works well in most respects, but I want to identify weaknesses and see if there are things I can do. Because I kind of transformed it all together pretty quickly, there are definitely some edges that can still be cleaned up. But I can do that once I'm finished with everything because I haven't merged it onto the body yet. What I think would be more useful is to look at some of these little areas and think how I can um, help it define the anatomy more. So what I want to find are, there it is, this mushroom layer. And if I'm not sure if what I'm going to do is helpful, I can always duplicate it and then turn off the, the original so that I can compare it. And what I'm going to do is warp this and change its shape a little bit as it overlaps with my creature. And because I've made a copy of it, I can be a little bit more aggressive and assertive in the decisions I make. I don't have to be precious with it. And this is why we designed the head a little bit oversized so that we are able to shrink it down to fit the body and kind of tighten everything up. Okay, now I'm going to use my lasso and I'm going to make some stronger choices about where it hits. And it's a little bit more massaging. And then some, maybe some soft transitional erasing. And if that feels too strong, I can actually take the opacity down. Translucence is tricky. I'm doing a 60% soft edged eraser around the outside edge of these translucent mushrooms and around the top of the head. That actually means the background will come through a little bit. That works well against that sharp edged kind of eye gourd. Okay, and then I can play with some selective dodging and burning.
very strong tool. Let's see, let's go to the highlights. There we go. Just a little bit to the jaw. And then a little bit of burning to the underside here. A lot of burning in here. Nope, not there. Okay. So now, because I made it as a duplicate, I can just see what I like better. That or that. Right? And I think I like that better. So I'll erase the one that was original. And I might play with some color. Let's go to hue saturation. Now that I have all the components, I can play with slightly different colorations. So I can get a little bit more exotic. A little bit more saturated in certain aspects. Now that everything's kind of working together. And if I want to add color to something that almost has no color, I can always colorize, but that takes out all the differing, different key, ah, differentiation of the pixels of the hardware. But you'll see it's really subtle otherwise. But I'm going to give it that, that kind of strange mix of greens and purples because it livens it up a little bit. And then if I do it to that, that one, I need to do it to the back eye shape as well. So this is fine tuning the head because it is that important. Make my lower jaw. There. So the reason I'm spending so much time on the head is because it gives you a lot of kind of confidence about what your creature will be. And then the other transition I want is the inside of the mouth, right? It doesn't quite work as the inside of the mouth. There's a few few ways I can mess with that, but another one way is to bring in just a new element. I have this beautiful mushroom here, a really big reference, which can make a nice tongue. Do a rough cutout, duplicate it, get rid of that insanely large smart layer. Thank you, Pixabay. It's just such a bright color, such a strong contrast with the yellow. It'll definitely stand out. And it already looks like a tongue. So it's all mushroom. All right. So now because this layer goes in between other layers, I have to, um, before I delete that out, I want to delete what overlaps it out. So this is kind of fun. I'm going to do it with the lasso. So I want it to really be able to control where that edge is. Again, at 3% feather or 3 pixel feathering. Oops, wrong layer.
and then I will erase out on the tongue layer. Only what I need to erase out. I actually want to keep the little scallops on the tongue. That gives it some continuity. The benefit to using all mushrooms is that there will be certain aspects to them, like their, their kind of reflective quality and these little gills they have that will give continuity to the creature. And what's great about that three pixel feathering is if I want it to be a little bit softer, bite in a little bit more, I just hit delete a few more times. Now that I've got it cut out, I can place it a little bit better. I think it's always important to transform your reference, not just so it's a little less recognizable, but so that you really control how it uh, fills the space for your creature. And now this is a tricky part, and this is just doing kind of smart design for later. I don't necessarily want the tongue to be coming out over the jaw but maybe I'll want that later. So instead of erasing away from the tongue to reveal the jaw underneath, what I'm going to do is actually go to the jaw and select the part that overlaps and duplicate it. So again, internal compositing. Move that up above my tongue and then erase away from that. So I'm actually encasing the tongue behind this jaw. So if I want it to hang over, I have that option. Or if I want to animate it later, I have the tongue intact. So I can move it and do things with it. This is a pretty important edge. I'm actually going to put it at zero pixels for its feathering, because this is near the, the eye line. And then cut it up. And now I'm going to burn that tongue in the mouth a little bit. This shouldn't be catching quite so much light. But actually, I should just play with levels first. There it is without the tongue. There it is with the tongue. It actually shows me that maybe I can move the tongue a little bit back more. And maybe warp it down. That hit of color is very nice. And then use the burn, or I'll use levels, darken the midtones, right? I'll limit the highlights. And now I'm going to burn the jaw underneath it. I'll burn the tongue and the jaw around it, just in the midtones. I need to be a little bit more targeted with my burning so I'm not hitting the edge of the jaw. So I have to go to smaller size.